Hey family, this is SP News Nuggets, and today, you guys, I want to share with you a story about a 58-year-old man named Ricky Jackson. He was accused of a murder back 39 years ago. Well, he's been exonerated and let free down there in, um, I would say down there, but up in Ohio. I say up in Ohio. You guys, I'm going to share the story with you, and we're going to talk about it because this is why it is so important not to accuse somebody of something because it's the worst thing you can do is take their life from them and, and take everything from them and uh, they got to live with it. You, you, you guys understand what I'm saying? So let's talk about it tonight and I'll see you at live at 5 p.m. Central Time. So let me share with you guys this clip and then we're going to talk about it based solely on the testimony of a child who now admits as an adult it was all a lie. We get our report on this tonight from our senior legal correspondent, Cynthia McFadden. Life is filled with uh, small victories, and this is a big one. Today, the moment Ricky Jackson waited 39 years for. It was like an emotional roller coaster. You know, just, I mean, the English language doesn't fit what I'm feeling right now. Freed from prison, his sentence vacated. Jackson was one of three neighborhood kids convicted of a gruesome 1975 murder in Cleveland and sent to death row. With no physical evidence, prosecutors based their case on the testimony of one 12-year-old boy who recently came forward and said he lied. I felt extreme pressure from detectives to describe a crime I never saw. In 75, he was a 12-year-old kid. And he was manipulated and coerced by the police, you know, and they, they used him. It took a lot of courage to do what he did in that courtroom. Also freed today, Jackson's co-defendant Wiley Bridgman, whose brother was paroled in 2003 and fought to help his friend and brother. What you're reading is uh, the happiness of, of being released. I mean, uh, the bitterness is over with, then, you know, I mean, I'm at the end of that road, you know. Their first stop, lunch, with the attorneys who'd fought so hard for their release. Many of them not even born when the men were convicted. Ricky Jackson is one of the strongest men I know. Uh, you know, uh, I can't even imagine what it was like to be uh, in prison for 39 years for a crime didn't commit. They returned to a different world. When they went to prison, Gerald Ford was president. And it was the first year of Saturday Night Live. We asked Ricky Jackson this afternoon what he missed most. I spent my 20s, my 30s, my 40s, and nearly all of my 50s in prison, you know. And time is just something that you can't get back, so I'm not going to really cry about it, but I had plans for my life, you know. Now he has to put his life back together. Ohio is one of 30 states that does compensate the wrongfully convicted, up to $40,000 for each year. But it's an arduous process to get it, and many don't get a dime. Today, no this, talk of that, just celebration. Let's raise our glasses for freedom. Yeah. Freedom! freedom. freedom. Oh. Hey family, this is SP News Nugget, and I want to share with you a sale of a lifetime. Noah's Closet is having a Mother's Day sale on all of her perfume. She has 50 to 75% off. She has CK. She has Gucci. She also has Prada over there. You guys, the perfume smells beautiful. Women love beautiful smelling perfume. Give your mother something that she knows that you appreciate all she's done. And let Noah know SP sent you. This message is brought to you by Warriors for Children. Hey family, I wanted to talk about this story right here. Um, first of all, there's a reason. There's always a reason for a story to continue to come up on my feed. And so um, I think it's very important that when we look at cases, especially like this one right here, um, there was so much evidence that was going on with this young gentleman. And uh, I'm going to share some of it with you guys. But um, here we go. An Ohio man was exonerated last fall after nearly serving four decades in prison for a murder he didn't commit. And he is now suing Cleveland police for their role in putting him away. His name is Ricky Jackson. Now, Ricky Jackson was in a federal, he's in a federal lawsuit filed Tuesday 
names the city and at least eight formal officers and their estates for his arrest and incarceration. Okay? So that tells me eight formal officers made sure that this man was going to be put in prison because I guess, I don't know if they wanted this to be on their sheet of how many people they can arrest and put away or whatever. But for some unknown reason, eight former officers conjured up this evidence and it was enough evidence to put this man away. Now, that don't make sense. So, sometimes people say, oh, it, it's a conspiracy. Oh, well, it have to be so many people in this conspiracy for this to happen. Well, look at here. You've got eight formal officers that was in this conspiracy to put this man away. Now, I don't know what they got out of it or what they knew or who was they covering up and hiding. But this is totally wrong. This man spent his whole entire life in prison for something he did not do. And it says it was misconduct by Cleveland police detective that those working in concert with them that led to Mr. Jackson's wrongful conviction, according to the suit in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Ohio. Now, Jackson was 18 when he was first locked up and is now 58. With 39 years in prison, he believed he had served the longest time behind bars for someone wrongfully incarcerated him in the United States. 39 years. He was 18 when he went to prison, you guys. 18. Could you do or could you see your child being in prison at the age of 18 and they don't see sunlight until they hit 58. That's just totally wrong. This man's whole life is gone. Just think about your child. You know, I don't I don't have, well, I do have a daughter that's 17. So I'm thinking if my daughter went to prison today, Lord forbid, knock on wood, that never happens. But if it's something of that did happen, and she don't get out until 58, ready for disability and social security and all of that. It just took her, it took her whole life. Not only that, all the trauma and, and stress and the drama of the things that happened while you were in there. You know, you got to go to bed at a certain time. You're with other, you, you're with other people that's convict, murderers, killers and things of that. You had to fight pretty much almost your whole life to stay alive and was just left in there. I don't know how they picked up this man's case and looked into it and uh, helped him out, but I thank God somebody uh, looked into it. Evidently, he had an attorney. That didn't work. Evidently, you know, he had judges. Evidently, he probably had a juror. None of that worked. And we say there's nothing wrong with our system. When an innocent person goes to prison for something, something is wrong with our system. Something is wrong with it. But I want you guys to think about this because this can happen to anybody. And you guys do remember, not too long ago, uh, they just executed Nathaniel Woods right there in um, Alabama under Governor K. She didn't stop. She just said, okay. Which, see, things like this happen. And it could have been you just killed an innocent man. I want you guys to think about this as you go out today. And we're going to talk about it live at 5 p.m. Central Time. Come in the house. I'll see you guys then. All right. Bye bye. Dear listeners, are you looking for authentic design for brands like Louis Vuitton?
on product, coach, coaching, micro course, and so much more at a price that you can actually afford? Well, let me introduce you to Nora's Authentic Designer handbag, shoes, and accessories, where we have designs to meet all of your needs. All items are 100% authentic, brand new, and being sold at prices you don't want to miss out on. Find us on TradeD.com at Nora's 915 or email us at Nora's Authentic Design at gmail.com.